Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I am going to be looking at a, another really exciting mod. This is actually a game pack mod from Snowy95. And this is going to be the team lifestyle um, get mod basically. This mod is going to add some new aspirations to your teen sims, some new careers, a trait lot and some other traits. This is going to bring new social interactions between your sims depending on what trait they have so i was really excited to see um that these traits are quite like diverse there's like emo bully heartbreaker innocent jock band nerd nerd prankster and i think that's really cool because at the moment with your teens i think that they're kind of it's, it's very hard to like give your sims a personality sometimes and i love um, I've said many times before, but I love little mods like this, which like change the traits or like the aspirations um, and just give them like new um, things to do. So with this as well, you're going to be able to have two new careers, which is going to be tutoring and cheerleading, which is really cool. Um, as well as that, you're going to have um, some new aspirations, which are probably going to tie in with the traits, which are going to be aspiring athlete, emo soul, heartbreaker, spoiled brat. And then you can have a new trait lot, which is Mean Girls. Okay, so with this mod, um, it's going to be quite a straightforward sort of install. So what you need to do is just download from this Patreon link, which I will link in the description of the video. You can either download the files separately. So they're all listed here if you wanted to just choose one specifically. But if you want all of them, then you're just going to click on this and it's going to start um, downloading in your bar below. And as usual with these, you need something like um, WinRAR to unzip them and put that folder into your Sims 4 Mods folder. If you need any help with installing them, I will link below a video guide that I have created for um, mods basically. So with this as well, it's really important not to put the mod too far into your mods file because it won't work so because of the script mods so what you have to do is just place it like as far up as you can and this can be frustrating if you want to organize things but it's just to make sure that this all works properly um so this is working it says for the current patch as well and yeah this is this is about it so um if we look at the screenshots you can see that it's going to add the traits in cast and then you can have like different interactions with each other too um so that's really really cool and what we're going to do is um, I'm going to go into the game and I'm going to show you guys just a few of the interactions with some of the sims that I have. And yeah, we're going to take a, a quick look at this mod and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I am in cast now and I have three teens and I'm going to show you guys what the traits look like. So um, basically they are going to show up in the normal traits bar. Um, we have emo, I think that's the first one. Emo kids are very emotional and misunderstood kids. They just want to be alone, feeling like they don't fit in. They're talented with creative skills. We have heartbreaker, which is they're experts at flirting and dating. They have the number of every sim who's single, okay? Um, I don't know whether this is one. These sims live in a happy wonderland where nothing bad happens to them. There's no evil sims. Um, we have band nerd. These sims are all about the band. They love to play instruments and are very talented at doing so. We have Prankster. Pranksters are very mischievous, sneaky sims. They love to create chaos anywhere they go. Um, and then we have, let me see, this is on here. Nerd is one of them. Nerdy sims love anything that challenges their brain. In their free times, they love to play video games. Uh, and then is there any one I've missed off? I don't think so. We also have Bully. These sims are mean and have no remorse. They target the weaker target to make their lives hell. And then we have Jock. Um, jock Sims want to be the best at sports. They're competitive and addicted to working out. When they're not training, they love to flirt with other Sims they see. So I'm just going to assign like our Sims um, some of these traits, I guess. So let me see. Um, I'm not really sure what to give her. Maybe Innocent, I guess. We can put that on to her. We can give her more than one, actually, as well. Um, so... Oh no, we can't. Not one of those. <laughs> um, let me see. So we can give her like nerd or something. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think we can give them more than one of those. For some reason, I don't know what's going on with my game. 
Um, so we'll give it, we'll give them a couple of traits, and then I'm gonna go back into the game, and I'm gonna show you guys um, the interactions with those too. Another thing I forgot to quickly look at as well was actually the aspirations. <laughs> so for the aspirations, there are gonna be four more, I believe, and they are gonna come underneath the athletic um, aspirations. So you're gonna get the aspiring athlete. These teams dream of being a world famous athlete. They want to exercise to in everything they do. We also have the creativity, the emo soul. Emo kids are tortured and misunderstood souls and naturally creative. They use their struggles as inspiration for their art. We have this one, which is spoiled brat. These teens just focus on themselves. It's all about parties, dating, expensive things. They will do anything to get what they want. And then love is um, heartbreaker. They only have one focus, dating. The more sims, the better. They're good at mischief and charisma to get what they want. We're not in school or busy with other activities they'd love to go on dates and flirt with everyone around okay so we're going to give um each of our sims a like a aspiration um so we'll give her that one and he can have the heartbreaker one and then we we'll give her the the email soul one let's see if i can find it okay so now those are the aspirations so yeah i'm gonna go in the game and show you guys the interactions i also wanted to show you guys the um the new lot trait so the new lot trait is the mean girls club this is all about confidence and fashion so i have actually assigned it to a lot even though we don't actually have any teams that i would say were like mean girls i just want to show you guys how it works and sort of like what buffs it all give you sims from having that as the lot trait um, so if I go back in, um, we're going to see that our sims have got a confidence boost. So um, for this sim, she has a little buff here that says, On Wednesdays we wear pink from Mean Girls Club. As an elite exclusive group, only the baddies can be part of it. So um, I think he gets it as well. Like anyone that's in the tri in the lot will get it, even the adult will get it. Um, so we have that little buff there. Um I'm just going to look at each one individually. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you guys all of the traits because I only have three sims and like um, it might take a while to go through all of the traits. But I'm going to show you guys ones that I do like. Um, well, just 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 an example. If you guys want to go through them all yourself, then re I highly recommend you download it because it's really, really cool. So we have given her the innocent trait. She's also got the new aspiration, which is going to give her some new like... Um, little tasks to fulfill um as well um let me just see if i can show you guys what the tasks actually are so um just things to do with fitness skills these aspirations are um so yeah with this she has an innocent trait so she gets a little happiness boost from the innocent trait these things are clueless to the reality of the world um and let's see so she doesn't really get anything else from that on her traits at the moment but if we go and interact with this sim here, um, we can actually talk about her. She has like special little um, interactions. So for her innocent trait, she can talk about stuffed animals and things about boys. Um, is there anything else I've missed? Okay, mention tied in from negativity. She can do that as well. Uh, let's see if I missed any for that. Um, for the mean girls trait as well, we can talk about the latest trends. Um, each of the traits is going to be marked as well with this little like thing next to it so you know where it's come from. So with the mouth, with like the, so the little social bubble, it's from the um, Mean Girls trait. So they are talking and she has got, um, yeah, she, she like they, they, you each have unique interactions for each trait basically that they have. Um, we gave this sim the emo trait. So if I go and try and talk to somebody, I can talk about the meaning of dreams. Um... I can vent about an emotional meltdown as well. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any I've missed. I don't think so. So we have some unique talk, like unique conversation. You're not alone. That's one of them too. That's really cool. Um, and then for her aspiration, we can look at the email soul. So with that, you're going to be wanting to do like creative things here. So like reaching levels of painting skill and guitar and violin. I may as well just show you guys the other ones while I'm in here as well. So if you wanted to show you guys this one, the spoiled brat one. This is the one I haven't assigned to anyone 
to have so with this you need to ha be doing social events reaching levels of mischief skills and going on dates that sort of thing to get that aspiration and then the, our last guy had the heartbreaker um so he has to go on dates with people as well and i keep clicking the wrong thing and um we can do like have a sim first kiss three times at a single social event there's a there's a lot of things to complete for that to do with romance and dating and he also has the uh, i think he has a jock trait so if we have a look um at what his interactions are um give advice about protein shakes we have talk about the football game um so i think there's pretty much two for each um trait if you guys want to like i said play around with it yourself um, you can see all the sort of traits that they have. Those are just a few examples of traits that you get from this. Now, the other thing that we are going to be looking at is actually the new careers. Okay, for the careers, we're going to click on our sim and we're going to go to the mobile phone and we're going to find a job. So for this, um, it's going to have, I think there's two new jobs and one of them is going to be like an extra curricular, which is the cheerleading. Get ready for core teamwork and support up a show cheerleading is a perfect extracurricular activity for those sporty teens. So for this, um, this is going to be 10 a.m. until 12 on each each weekday. Is that? I'm not sure actually. <laughs> I think that it's each weekday. And then on the tutoring, um, they can spend their weekends educating others from math to simlish. Okay, so it's the it's the weekends um so for this we can be tutoring 10 a.m to um 2 p.m and it gives you 30 simoleons an hour so if we get him tutoring and we get like i don't know get her cheerleading um so if we go on the phone and we can set that up as well um i don't think we're gonna see it actually because it's a weekend but you're gonna have like different things to be doing um to do with your like your job so here is the tutoring so for the tutoring obviously you're going to progress by reaching different levels of the charisma skill and the comedy skill and then for the cheerleading you're going to need to be have a like high fitness skill to progress through that so yeah that is really really cool um and i can just show you guys quickly as well with mc command what it would look like if i like i'll click on it for some reason if i like um have a look at what their the progression is for their job so for career cheats if we promote her um you get the tutor for math so yes it's as hard as it looks and you can do that as well and then the next one is let me see so career cheats promote tutor literature the story of bella goth science bone healer's structure and I think that's that's the highest you can go. So she's um, he's at the highest he can go at the moment. Um, he gets a raise, so you get a bonus and a raise when you get to the top of your career. And then for the cheerleading, let me see. So for the cheerleading, it's gonna be uh, beginner is the starting one. Then you go to elite, and then you go to all girl, and then co-ed. Um, that's I think that's it. So um, the highest you can get up to is this one. So this is co-ed, and you're going to be earning sixty smileys an hour, and you're going to need to be improving your fitness again to get bonuses. So yeah, I just thought that was really cool. I really like this this mod um, to add some more traits to our sims. Like you can only have two as a, as a teen, and so you know to add ones that are more unique to a teen is really really cool. Um, I can't wait to have a look around with this um, mod and play around with some more sims and to see how the interactions work between them but I think there's a lot of possibility um, in your storylines to add things like this in and it will really help with any team gameplay you're doing so I highly recommend this out to anyone who is looking for um, little ways to improve their realism in their game or enjoys playing with teen sims so if you guys enjoy this video then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i make videos to do with mods and cc and all sorts of stuff and have a few playlists on my channel where i have gone through lots and lots of different mods if you are looking for something new for your game feel free to check that out and yeah i hope to see you guys all in my next video bye guys